The Modernism Trail of Katowice. Tadeusz Maheda owns a villa at 19, Poniatowskiego Street. Good morning and welcome to our next episode. Today, Tadeusz Maheda, architect, social activist, Silesian insurgent, painter, official, and founder of the Silesian Union of Architects, subsequently transformed in the Association of Architects of the Republic of Poland. By some, Tadeusz is called the father of modernist Katowice. The villa was built in 1926 to 1930. On the modernism trail of Katowice, we will be guided by guides Ms. Barbara Zygmanska and Mr. Piotr Fuglewicz, authors of Walking Guide of Katowice. The villa refers to the Polish decorative art related to an exhibition of decorative art in Paris in 1925. What can we say about the style? How can we zoom in on this exhibition? Mr. Piot? Mr. Piot said, Art Deco was a kind of intermediate stage between very rich vegetable succession and completely simple modernism. In architecture, in art of all kinds, music too, the next generation of creators generally try to create in opposition of predecessors. Art Deco retains a kind of design taken by nature, but started simply their forms. A case that appealed to the Paris exhibition in 1925, and then it was in circulation for a while. But as the most modernist and as the most important in that period of the 1920s and 1930s, modernity was recognized. Maheda, who had a very rich resume, inspired by Art Deco. But just in front of your villa, because the back of it was classically modernist. To this day, this villa in Katowice awakened surprise. Unfortunately, it stands empty there, a board in front of it which speaks of the rank and value. It was a place where the greatest architects met. Maheda was such a sheriff of the local architects, they all adhered to Le Corboisa's ideas. There is a photograph quoted in the works by the greatest connoisseur of our modernistic times, Dr. Richard Nakonichne, where Katowice architects in this villa, feasting with a paper figure of Corbusier, who did not grace them with his presence, but spiritually was a guide. Lecturer said, And you refer to the silhouette itself by Tadeusz Maheda. Miss Barbara, would you tell us who Mr. Tadeusz was? Miss Barbara said, well, she really was a remarkable character. He came from a Lutheran family, from Cheshen. He came from a very well-known family, deserved for promoting Polishness in Cheshen. Both his father and his uncles, and all four brothers, were really actively involved in the fight. Tadeusz Maheda, as well as his brother, Władysław, wanted to join the Legion. Tadeusz, as a scout, immediately after finishing junior high school, joined the Polish Legion. He fought with the lesions, among others, in Eastern Carpathians, near Rafai Wovo, and he's been injured several times. Eventually, he also took participation in the Silesian uprisings. Well, actually, I'm on my own. I wonder when he made it. Study and graduated from the Faculty of Architecture at the Lviv University of Technology, and immediately after graduation, came here to Katowice. His first work was this one the villa that was built on the streets of today's Poniatowskiego, a very beautiful example of such expressionism, Art Deco. Whereas the same street of Kielenskiego, when we go up a little bit towards the southern area, we can see two more villas also designed by Tadeusz Maheda. It must be said that they no longer have much in common with such classic modernism, lecturer said. Here, it's quick to interfere in this moment that the second villa of 46 Kielanskiego Street is also by Tadeusz Maheda. This is the villa that was created for the voivodeship of Zygmunt Żurowski, 1929-1930. But as you say, there are a total of three such villas next to each other, of which only two belong to the monuments and lie on the modernism trail of Katowice. And that's about the other villa. Would you mind a little more? You want us to zoom in on the other villa? Miss Barbara said. The other villa has some traces of expressionism, which are expressed in the fact that there are one such example are the windows in the attic. There are diamond shapes, shape of two connected triangles. 
It was quite a characteristic of Art Deco. On the other hand, part of the villa is a semicircular terrace, round window, which is located there. That's what they are, elements very typical of modernism. However, even higher, two properties above, there is another villa, which Tadeusz Maheda designed for his brother, Władysław, who was very famous advocate in Katowice. This villa is another year or two years later, and if you can say so, this, t- this is also typically modern. Mr. Piotr said, Modernism is basically a straight line, solid, cuboid, with two exceptions. The first one was of the bowler type. Modernity eagerly referred to the, ide- the idea of transatlantic, something big, inhabited. You can find something similar in buildings in Belgium or elsewhere in cities of Western Europe. Modernist buildings that are even in the shape of transatlantic. The second thing is the bow. As a kind of contrast, this I mean the body was fine, rectangular, but for example there was a semicircular balcony or the corner was somehow rounded. Cadets, we have an example of a porch. There are also winter gardens which are protruding from the cubodial body with an arc. It was still all there, very simple and limited, to two spatial figures. Yeah, which means lumps and semicircles. Lecturer said, it means fusing such a contradiction with each other. Miss Barbara said, characteristic terraces that were mentioned were fenced with steel railings. It looked like the railings that are on the ships. Mr. Piot said, marinist appeals were quite frequent and clear. Lecturer said, as you mentioned, unfortunately, not even the first villa on the street, Poniatowskiego 19, and the second one at Kilenskiego Street are no longer available for sightseeing. Miss Barbara said, The one by Poniatowskiego, unfortunately, was quite neglected, but these two which are above at Kilenskiego Street, they are privately owned. One includes the company and they're nicely tended. They can be viewed from the outside. Lecturer said, So that doesn't change the fact that as we go on the modernism trail of Katowice, we can just walk by and just see in particular that the front is at 19 Poniatowskiego Street. As you said yourself, a typical example of modernity. Mr. Piotr said, And while we're there, we can make it to the end of the street and enter the gardens, which in turn have examples of beautiful gazebos, gazebos of the 19th century because there were gardens with very interesting architecture, imitating alpine cottages. Complete change climate and mood. Just walk to the end of the street, at which they are located in the villas we are talking about, and climbing the stairs to the area of allotment gardens. Lecturer said, So, as you yourself here in Katowice can't be bored, and really wondering, the only trail we can discover many more interesting places. We cordially invite our listeners to take this route and discover those that have not yet been discovered, a place perhaps. Thank you for today, and above all to my guests, Miss Barbara and Mr. Piot, and we'll talk about it in the next episode, about residential buildings at PCK Street. Thank you for today, and goodbye. This project is funded by government budgets. The podcasts have been read by Braden Buddy.